And Island? Yes. Bardock yes. is confused. Yes. What is this soft, loose rock under me? But we know where we are. We are on Buka, the island. How does he know that he's on the island of Buka? Because it's where he it's between where he left and where he uh was headed. So I can see my things spiking over there. I'm speaking yeah, up. Yeah, I know, I know, but like, you're in the recliner. <sighs> Fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, being in a recliner doesn't really make me more comfortable if I can't recline. I know. Yeah. Well, it's a nice, it's leather at least. Yes, yes. Of course, it's not really more comfortable in uh, this air conditionless environment we find ourselves in. Yeah. Yeah, you probably just wanted to get out of it. Because no, I, 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 I didn't think about that. If I'm no. being honest. Anyway, so the island of Buka, where it's in, where its inhabitants invented the Buka pipe. Um, okay, we'll go with that. What's this? See, the inventor of the Buka pipe, right there. Right. It's like a hookah pipe, only like it was patented later. So everyone calls it a ripoff, but it actually uses a completely different valve function. Okay, then. I have no idea what I'm talking about. It's coming out of my butt. <laughs> of course. Uh, yeah, I've forgotten how this actually proceeded, but... Um, it's a lost woods. I, I did know all. that you had to see the turtle before you left. And it was that little spot right there that I we just... Better, we better ride that turtle out of here. I don't know if that will happen. Yeah, Let's find out. Yeah. I love <laughs> it when I guess things right. <laughs> and unlike my buddy Travis, you won't intentionally lie to me about plot points. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> you say that I won't do that, but then I do that anyway. Well. Maybe. You'll never know. Until you see it. <laughs> oh. If you see it at all. Remember, if you lie on the internet, you're a liar forever. Uh, Gotta yeah. go fast. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. More of these mole bear bastards. Mm -hmm. They're adorable, though. Yes. Yes. All they want is your meat for their children. Ah, uh, well, they can't have it. But they need it, though. Too bad. For the sake of life. <laughs> for the sake of the people. Circle of life. That that sounded more like a like a grocery store jingle than a than an epic Broadway musical. The circle of life. Yeah, that still sounds very. I can't sing. <laughs> it's just the way you ended it. It sounded more like. I don't know. Shoppers, it's the circle of life. <laughs> yes. In aisle three, 50% off. Yeah, 50% off. You 50... just sounded so, like, like Wisconsin there. 50% uh, off. north, not just Wisconsin. No, that was that was very Wisconsin. Uh, that was very Wisconsin right there's there. There's no pleasing you today. No, there never will be. There will always be a chance. Because I, I'm, I listen to people. I listen to the way they talk. I try and... Identify people by their by their vocal oh, you're, patterns. You're gonna have trouble with me on that. My yeah. mind changed depending on what I've watched recently. Yeah, <laughs> but I can usually place where in the U.S. those influences are coming from. Right. So, can you detect any Southern in me? Because uh, everyone told me when I moved down south that I would pick up a Southern accent, and I said, "No." <laughs> uh, there's like very vague hints of it here and there. Well, I mean, like words. When I say words like "ain't" and "y'all," that's just words. I don't. I you, don't you draw. Did have, you did have a little bit of a draw when you were saying words. 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 Yes. Uh, well, I mean. But it's not my whole accent is what I'm trying to say. Right, but it sneaks through. Yeah. Just like it sneaks through with me some, from time to time. Right, right. It comes out a little bit more when I'm drunk. So if we yeah. ever do actually get around to our Scholar of the First Gen stuff... <laughs> um, we'll get around to it. We just need more time to actually do this. <laughs> yeah, we need more time and I need more booze. Um, well, I've got the booze. Yes, 
Yes, but we also need more time, and it... uh, I'll I'll look up some mixed drinks and I'll make you shots. <laughs> well, no, it needs to be when I don't have to drive. Right. I've offered to let you sleep on the couch. Right, but I'd rather sleep at my own house. Well, how about this? We'll plan out a day to do Scholar of the First Gen after a few of our other recordings. Yes. And I will I will come pick you up at your house, bring you here, and then take you home afterwards. <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? That and, I'll, and I'll get some some of the liquors, and I'll get my shaky thing that I got for my birthday, and some ice, and I'll make you some cold shots. <laughs> All right, all right. So, we've got some annoying enemies right here. Yeah. Um, because you see those eggs? Yeah. They turn into birds. And in this state, look at that. They've get, they're have get they just getting hit. You'd expect birds to be weak to rock, right? No. <gasps> look at that. No damage to any of them. Oh, uh, they're too powerful for this world. So then we switch over to air, which they should be, you know, weak against in that state. But then... They switch they to bird form. They switch to bird And because form. of how spells work in this game, they're like, man, forget you. Yeah, exactly. He said, fuck you. You have no damage. It's, you, you have to, like, you either have to preemptively start spells and hope the animation happens fast enough or you just beat them to death. Yes. But they also recover all of their health whenever they... Transform? Yeah. So... Why don't, why don't you just not attack them until they're full birds, then? Because they don't transform until they get hit. Yeah. That's... Uh, yeah. But when they're in this form... They hit the wind. The wind actually does damage. Except for that one who turned into a bird. He was in the middle of transforming. So, yeah. It's, it's too powerful. Yeah. Yeah. So does it happen when they, when you physically hit them? They transform? Uh... It's like once they get to a certain level of health, mm -hmm. but once you've gotten them low enough, right? If you hit them hard enough, they will uh, not transform. But at the same time, they will also not give you as much experience. Right, right. So it's kind of a kind of a you gotta you gotta try yeah. gotta try yeah. hard. And there's a few there there's several of those. Morphing enemies. Yeah, okay. Ugh. Yeah. Burp. Burp indeed. Yes. Five guys, burgers and fries. Enjoy it! Enjoy it with your uh, malt, vinegar, ketchup, hot sauce combo. Hey, it was delicious. It was pretty good, I'll give you that. Yes, you take one squirt of ketchup, like a teaspoon of malt vinegar, and like four or five drops of Tabasco sauce. Mm -hmm. You mix it up. I used a knife. You can use the fries, though. And you get a kind of spicy ketchup. It's a little bit thinner. But overall, it's far pretty good. more delicious. It's pretty good. So I got fed up with them. Oh, no, the void. <laughs> yes. I got fed up with them just resisting whatever I hit them with. So I yeah. just hit them with something that they don't have yeah. weakness to. You'll be seeing a lot more of that because there are actually enemies coming up. Just, that just hit it. them with something raw. Yes. <laughs> no matter what, as long as the damage happens. Oh, uh, and why lunch, is lunch gray? Because lunch just got petrified. I just got stoned, man. Yeah. So that's another thing that those fucking birds do, is they can they're petrify. Just, they're like flying, transforming uh, gorgons. They're they're giant pains in the ass, is what they are. That's what I just said. <laughs> Uh, they're not. They're not Medusa heads. They're not from Castlevania, but they're they're giant pains in the ass. Yeah. Uh, and cock a bird. Yes. They, dick they birds. Are, they are very. They're dick birds. Yes. They're, Dicky bird. Yeah. Poof into feathers. Make our pillows. <laughs> yes. For days. But I'm I'm a little bit under leveled, and I'm gonna be that way for a while. Um, Oof. I will eventually catch up to, and w when what? I'm caught up, that one or two levels makes a difference because right. the damage in this game is linear. Right. So it's a direct result of subtracting defense from offense. Yeah, Bardock is way behind. Jeez Louise. At least yeah. your other two are level 13. That's probably because of the ghost ship thing though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think he's like four or 5,000 experience behind. Right. 
We, well, no, not four or five thousand. Maybe two or three. Yeah. But it, it adds up. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh yeah. Uh, this is something that took me a while to figure out when I was young, first playing the game. A strapping young lad. Yes. Yes, something like that. <laughs> um, but. Well, 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 what was it that you're having trouble with? Um, well, you'll. It's not here, but it's on the screen we were just on that we have to go back to because I went down here to get more experience. XP! 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 Yeah. Um, I decided after this video, mm -hmm. and near the end of it, actually, that I was just going to make sure that I go on the most direct route possible, and if I <laughs> do any grinding, to just kind of hide it behind yeah. me. Behind uh, screen transitions yes. and uh, save points and magic. Yes, the magic of editing. It really is magic because it, it takes a while to learn. Yes. Um, Into the suck zone. <laughs> yes. 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 yes, yes. <laughs> Just take that raw damage, you dumb birds. Victory. Victory. Victory, indeed. No victory. Victory. Anyway, this is what it took me a while to figure out, because I didn't realize it's, you had to talk to that rock. It's, well, that's, uh, you know what, that's pretty logical to not talk to rocks. Yeah. Um, this game has some weird points like that, like yeah. that thing in the... So, so these little, these little guys, uh, they transform too. Yes. I don't want to see what it transforms into. Too bad. Eight. Oh, it turned into something even more adorable. Yes. It's a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, but these guys right here, mm -hmm. the, these little rabbit things, yeah. they they actually spawn another... They, they 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 shed skin and their skin continues with their lingering will. No, they summon Mama. Oh. Yeah. And later, when Mama is the base form, Mama summons Papa. And Papa summons Granddaddy. No, no. no, no. Papa, Papa's the top. Oh. But, but these little bastards also heal. So you have to take them out. Kill them first. Kill Fort them first. Fortunately, they are weak enough that uh, I can one-shot them with a multi-target spell. Oh, well, that's good. Ooh. But they can Sorry still heal before they die. So... Mm -hmm. it, which, you know, it, it's one of the quirks of this game is that... You know, if you start casting at the right time, you can finish your spell regardless. Right, right. Regardless of whether you die or not. <laughs> yes. With my final breath, I take ye down with me. Yes. Oh, I love that. I love it. I love stuff like that. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no way to prevent a lot of it. Yeah. Like, these dark priests... Well, the, the, well like, the way this combat in this game is, I've noticed, it, like, you're un it's unavoidable. You're gonna die eventually. Yeah. But Unless they you're... also give you... The Angel Grails are cheap, and they completely revive you health and... Magic. Magic. So sometimes it's to your advantage to die. As long as it's not right when something else dies and you lose that on the experience. Right, right. Gotta get that vitality. Yep. Oh, man. Vitally. Vitally. Yes, vitality. But I'm two levels behind everything. Gotta that's a huge gap. In gotta time. raise that vit. Yep. Yep, it's extremely... Don't worry, you'll catch up eventually, I'm sure. Yes. Through the magic of editing. I thought it was the magic of grinding and editing. A little bit of both. Column A, column B, you know. So where do you like to grind in this game? Uh, it, it's usually near a golden statue, just because golden statues mm -hmm. give you, you know, healing. Right. Um, and there's actually a point where I'm going to have to do it before I fight every single one of the god beasts. Uh-huh. Because reasons. I forgot there was more than one of those. All eight of them. One Meh. for each element. Meh. Yes. Oh, that was just stuttering. Yeah, it's just... It just takes a little bit sometimes. Oh, okay. Well, as long as it's not frozen or dying. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, we could re-record if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that would be... We can't keep fighting them forever. Well, I mean, we can, but I don't want to. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I love that line. 
Um, I need to make you watch that. What? It sounds extremely familiar. It's from Steven Universe. Oh. They're fighting these orb things that are like just showing up and trying to, and they don't know what they're doing, and they keep like destroying them, and <laughs> uh, it's starting to wear them out or whatever, and. Steven has the bright idea of just letting it do what it needs to do and following it to see where it's going. And and they're like, but we don't know where it's going. And, and Garnet's like, well, we can't keep fighting them forever. Well, I mean, we can, but I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, those lizards, I don't know if you saw. Mm -hmm. They can eat you, too. Well, everyone's got to eat. They're, yeah, but they're, when they're, they... they're essentially Yoshis. Yeah, but when they eat you... They don't do any damage, you don't take any damage, and they eventually just pop. So, it's basically a suicide move. That does nothing. Right. So, it's like a bee sting. Right. But that's pretty much how it happened in Secret of Mana, where they were actually bosses. Oh. Because, what? <laughs> yeah. How does a monster like that be a boss? Well, I mean, it's like the machine golems. You know, like the ones we fought on the bridge? They're yeah. Just, they're they're not really bosses, but they have higher stats than it's like it, normal. it's 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 like that enemy that's hard to beat, but then you fight it later and the stats are lowered, so you feel more powerful. Right. When really it's just the stats are lowered. Um. Yeah, and mostly health. But no. I'm not sure if it was by oversight or by design. If they ate you, they didn't do any damage to you, and it might just be a bug that they never fixed. It's two separate games, though. And uh, they, they had, never that they never saw. <laughs> no, they saw it. They were aware of it. They yeah. just didn't because that just to not, overlook it two games in a row. Right, right, right. Would just be shitty programming. Yeah. Well, to be fair, this is back in the day. That doesn't matter. I. Yeah, but programming's hard. <laughs> programming is hard, but you learn from your mistakes. And making that mistake two games in a row, that's chaos. Uh, that, that's some EA tier bullshit right now. I know, but EA got the ideas from someone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. For those of you at home who don't know, KS is a uh, QA term that means known shippable, which means, yeah, we know there's something wrong, but we don't actually care enough to fix it right. or have the time or budget to fix it. Well, so. it, it, it will either be too hard to fix like sometimes a fix would require changing an entire system right and sometimes it's just like okay so we'd have to change this in 47,000 different instances and each one of those changes is slightly different right it's not worth the and, time and sometimes they just don't want to <laughs> that that too but. We're we're familiar with those. <laughs> yes, but we're not going to say who because legally we're not allowed to. Um, <clears throat> are you kidding me? Legally, I'm allowed to. I don't work there. <laughs> no, you're still bound by the NDA. Oh, really? For oh. anything that happened. So I can't. So, your so I so I can't. Well, like I wasn't going to say anything specific. I was just I was just going to talk. I was just going to talk smack about the company I used to work for. Yeah, don't mention company names that you used to work for, even uh, though even though people could figure it out by going and looking up our names. Yeah, yeah. Well, but, I, mean, I don't um, think we've ever said our last names, and despite what you may think, Eli is just a shortening of my full name, which is Elijah, and we've never said our last names. Wait, yeah, we have. Yeah. Uh, you've never said your last name. I have. Well, even if I said my last name, nobody would know how to spell it. But That's then also they, true. <laughs> but then they would know how to spell it if they just looked it up on. Right, right, right. Because because it's it's a thing on the, right, on the right. on the tube of the use. People should figure out what my name is, seeing as what I am in the title card picture. Yes. And and your your nickname is the. Yeah. The Rick. Yes. But. Uh, if we ever get that guy to draw more uh, stuff for us, like for specific games or whatever, yeah, I want the rake that your dude is using as a weapon. Like if he's doing it in like different situations, I want it to be one of those metal rakes. That, well, I mean that's what it is. Well, like not the fan spread out ones, but like just the straight across. Yeah, that's down. what it is. 
Is it? Yes. I haven't edited a video in a while. Um. <laughs> you should be able to re. You should be able to remember your own damn logo. Yeah, I should. I should. Uh, damn it. But I've been busy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Someday I'll be forgiven, but it is not this day. <laughs> Somewhere, some way over the rainbow. I don't know. Why way up in the sky. I, I suddenly feel like pulling out a ukulele, gaining 200 pounds, and being a very happy person. Hmm. Specific. Uh, well, uh, jeez, I... I would murder the last name if I tried to do it. But Israel... Um, that last name that I can't pronounce. It, it's a Hawaiian name. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, everyone has problems with those. Yeah. But um, Israel, whatever his last name is, that uh, DreamWorks did their, their lava... They... It was the one that came with Inside Out, their little short. Uh-huh. I think it's called Lava. Uh-huh. Um, I haven't seen Inside Out. Is that good? Uh, I have not seen that either, but... I've been told it's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a hand axe that nobody can use properly because they don't have any agility. Eh. Because agility in this game is shit. I wouldn't... I wouldn't identify a hand axe with agility. Well, any of the thrown weapons in this game. That's but I use it anyway to... Smack this dark priest because fuck it. Get out of here, dark priest. Yeah. You and your evil magic. Yes. And he's completely immune to all magic. Oh. So. Might as well throw the kitchen sink at him then. Yes. Because <laughs> a lot of people say that as a joke. Threw everything at him and the kitchen sink. Kitchen sinks are heavy. Yes. Hurt a lot. <laughs> yes. Almost as much as toilets. Almost as much. Yes. The toilet has the humiliation factor. Yes. <laughs> yes, it does. Um, especially if you are getting it dropped on you by, by an irate Irishman. I'm thinking of the Boondock Saints. Yes. Yes! <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that part. I love that part because his brother's getting carried off to be killed, and he just rips the toilet out of the, out of the stone floor, and he, like, runs up to the roof. And chunks him, chunks the toilet over, and then drops his own body on top of the guy. Yep. <laughs> Which kills him. Yes. Like, <laughs> like uh, kills the guy with both of them, and then his brother picks up piece of the toilet and kills the other guy with it. <laughs> yep. Toilet lid, I think it was. And uh, it was, it wasn't the lid. It was the uh, top part that covers up where the water comes in. The, the, the lid. When you say toilet lid, I think of the thing that you lift up to sit down. That's the toilet seat cover. I call it the lid. <laughs> well, nomenclature. Fight in the comments about which one of us is right about <laughs> words. <laughs> yes. Lids. Lids, lids, lids. Lids. That's, that's also the name of a store in the mall, and it makes me sad because it sells nothing but hats. Well, I mean, I, I get it. I, I get why they call it that. It's still... It's a slang term for hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not a bad store, and they, the hats aren't bad. Mm. They've got some decent hats. I suppose. There's a section that has writing caps, so it's okay. Mm, okay. Flat caps. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's I, it's, it's, actually... it's, it's it's not all those stupid baseball caps that are too big for people's heads and have weird logos on them. Well, they're not too big for my head because yeah, I've got a big head. Yeah, I, I meant the people who actually wear them, yeah. but. <laughs> It's not just that. They also have other hats there, too. And look at that. Bardock died. Oh, he's fine. Yeah. It's not death. He's resting. Eh, for now. <sighs> for now. Oh, he's, he's back. Yep. And he leveled up. And he's getting... Getting lucky. Daft Punk rides for him. We're up tonight to get. We're up all night to get lucky. <sighs> we're okay, up all I, night to the sun. We're up all night for some fun. Okay, I'm just. We're up all night to get lucky. I'm. Um, I'm just gonna. We're go up. I'm. I'm just, I'm just gonna go out here. Um, all night. To. Say it. Get lucky. There we go. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna point out and say I don't actually listen to much Daft Punk. <sighs> Heretic. I've been listening to Fort Minor recently. <laughs> what? It's like one of the only rap artists that I listen to. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, you know how back in the day Linkin Park used to have rap in it? Yeah. That guy, who's no longer with Linkin Park, uh, <laughs> made his own crew, and they I call see. it Fort, Mi Fort Minor. I Z. And, it, and it's like, and it's like, it's. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you listen to it. It's actually pretty good. Okay, I, I will consider it. I will. I will give it its due. Like I think his first album was called The Rising Tide. <laughs> that. Yeah. Please, albums have been named worse. Yeah. Yeah. And I could be wrong about the name. It could... It, It's not as bad as Smell the Glove. What? <laughs> what, 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 what? You've what? never seen... Uh, we. This is Spinal Tap, have you? No. Yeah, that, that's why. I oh. don't get that. It, it's making fun of New Wave of British Heavy Metal. Oh, okay. You know, just just rock and roll in general. Yeah. But it does it in a way that's startlingly, startlingly accurate uh -huh. to what actually happens. Mm -hmm. oh. so, so that that's a movie that you must watch. It's okay. At some point in the future. Someday we'll watch it and have a lot of fun. Maybe. Maybe. But it's Rob Reiner film. Mm -hmm. uh, used to do a lot of really good ones, but then lately... No, nah, sometimes people just hit that yeah. point in their life where they need to bring something in their mind back to where it was. Right, but it, it was the start of like all the mockumentary stuff. Oh, um, I usually hate those movies. Which ones have you watched? Um, the most recent mockumentary one that I've watched. Yeah. Uh, Troll Hunters. That um, one was actually pretty good. Um, did you ever watch any, um, like A Mighty Wind or Best in Show, things like that? No. You, you should try watching those. They're far better about it. Right. And at first, like, because it was with my D&D &D group when one of our guys couldn't show up and we didn't play, yeah. we watched Troll Hunters. And at first, it was one of those things that I just hated because the main character seemed like idiots. Yeah. But as it went along, I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, did you ever watch, like, Parks and Rec? Yeah, I've watched Parks and Rec. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a lot closer... The, the Christopher Guest ones, it's a lot closer to ones like... The ones that I'm trying to get you to watch are a lot closer to things like to uh, Park and, Parks and Rec than... Yeah. Because, you know, it's people who are dead serious about what they're doing. But they're just... But, it's but, so, they're, but they're all little shits. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Right. The way that they go right. about it that it's just funny. One of my favorite things in Parks and Rec was where... Um, Ron had to get a tooth pulled, and he shows up with that tooth, like, in the spot the next day. Yeah. And he, uh, and he, and he, and he complains about the toothache to his co-worker, and he's like, nah, I got it. And he pulls out a pair of pliers, and everyone starts freaking out, and he pulls the tooth out or whatever. Yeah. And then, like, over later on camera, he's like, Dennis pulled this out yesterday. He's like, but it's always good to make sure that your co-workers know you can withstand an extreme amount of pain. And he's like... And it's always fun to see Tom faint. <laughs> <laughs> and he's and then it like it cuts to a camera shot of the guy just unconscious on the ground. <laughs> yep. Uh, Tom is a season sorry scares, right? Yeah. Okay. Just making sure I remembered. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, it, it's been a while since I've watched it. I'm the, the, that that show has one like. The people are a little silly, but at the same time, it also portrays like people in a way that I can actually believe. Yeah, it, in in certain regards, like there was this one, like this lady, uh, not a character, but a lady comes into the office to complain about something. She's like, "Excuse me, it's uh, uh you had a sign out there that said don't drink uh the uh 
um, sprinkler water. She's like, so I used it to make iced tea, and now I have a uh, minor infection. And and as she's talking, Ron is slowly turning his chair away from her, and he's like at a circle desk. And as he's turning away, she's like, "Sir, are are you listening?" And she's like trying to follow him around the circle, and he keeps turning it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's a very. But, like, somebody doing something like that, I can totally believe. And there's where we have our little grind fest that goes away. Grind because, fest! Because I was level 13, now I'm level 15! Oh, gosh. Yes. Uh, I I had to grind yesterday in Dark Souls for a large uh, Titanite shards. Yeah. Well, like, to get your weapon to plus 10, you, yeah. you need large Titanite shards. And there's a spot in White Town where it's pretty easy to get a good deal of them as long as your item discovery is pretty high. Yeah. And I had the gold serpent's ring, so yes. it was even though I was hollowed, it was uh, automatically at three hundred. I think the max is four twenty. So I, I picked up I picked up fourteen large titanite shards and about thirty green titanite shards because okay. the things there there's the, the 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 slugs that drop stuff. Yeah. In that part, we're trapped. Oh no! Who's this? It's Count Chocula. Yes. I am Count Chocula. I was following. Why? Oh, what? What do you mean, Chocula? That sounds like a knockoff brand cereal. <laughs> yeah. I'd tell you, but too I... bad you'll buy it anyways, or your kids will want it. Oh no! It's starting to erupt. It's almost as if climbing a volcano was a bad idea. Oh no! Cliffhangers. <laughs> Next time. Is it really a cliffhanger? The game's like how old? Yes, it's a cliffhanger.